It's a really exciting time to be alive. Technology is getting better, movies are getting better, and video games are getting better. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited for Ready Player One, and not just for the movie, but for the Oasis itself. It's not going to be long before a virtual world just like the Oasis is going to become a reality. VR tech is just in its infancy, and we're getting there. In fact, we're starting to play around with VR tech right here at Hacksmith Industries. You see, we've actually got our own VR setup in the garage. We've got a pretty powerful computer here with a Titan graphics card, and we've been playing around with Unity, which is one of the biggest 3D game engines out there, and Live, which is an open source VR content app for creating immersive VR content, which we're hoping to use to bring some awesome real-time CGI effects to our videos, but more on that later. And finally, we have the most important part. Follow me. We've got the Vive. Now you may have noticed, this Vive doesn't have any wires. James, here. And that's because TPCast actually gave us an early release of their product, which allows you to make the Vive wireless. Now having a completely wireless system is awesome, but unfortunately without the wire, it also means you don't have a tether, which means you can walk anywhere you want in the shop, even if dangerous things have been left out. <laughs> Safety hazards aside, a wireless experience is so much better than being tangled in wires every time you turn around. Like, what is this? How, how am I even supposed to play? So while we don't have all the technology shown in Ready Player One just yet, I think VR tech is going that way. And I think with a bit of ingenuity, our team could probably recreate the entire trailer. Today's challenge, the Oasis. I need an avatar. I can feel everything. <laughs> no! I don't know if I like realistic VR. Can you feel this? Let me show you the um, yeah. Huh. Can you feel this? <laughs> In virtual reality, you can be any avatar you want. You can be yourself or anyone else. Wait a sec. Why am I so low to the ground? The Oasis. <laughs> It's a place where the limits of reality are your own imagination. Do you want to use this avatar? I did it. So the awesome thing about VR is it's getting super realistic and with just a little ingenuity, you can enhance that experience even more. So right now I'm standing on a plank that's you know like a foot off the ground, but in virtual reality, I'm at the top of like a 50 story skyscraper and this is actually pretty scary. And uh, for, you, for those of you guys who, who don't think VR is really realistic, uh, take a look at this clip. Ah! <laughs> oh, 
All right, now I wonder what will happen if I jump off. Oh, this is gonna mess with my head. Woo! What? What? <laughs> 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 So as we were saying earlier in the video, we are actually starting to use VR tech here at Hacksmith Industries. And one of the ways we're able to do that is to actually look at our 3D models in VR so we can get a much closer view, like this hologram right here. As you can see, it exists in VR space, and I can actually walk around, I can, I can look inside of it, I can even look underneath. But really, you guys have to see this to actually believe it, so let me just grab the camera here. All right, so. Assuming this all works, you guys should be able to see what I can see now. Isn't that neat? So this is just an example of our first experiments in integrating uh, the VR technology. And the cool thing is what we can actually do is use a physical tracker as a digital camera into the VR world. And what that means is we can actually combine the two images together to create a real-time CGI effect in our videos. Kind of like how Tony Stark does it in Iron Man. And I think that's pretty cool. So that's just a small sample of what we're planning to try and do with VR technology here at Hacksmith Industries. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it inspired you to play around with VR a bit more. And as always, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, do so and turn those notifications on because we have awesome videos coming out every week.